PV systems are often installed on rooftops, so roof ladder and hoist safety are an important part of safety practices during a PV installation. Also, PV systems are electrical by nature. Most PV systems, including most small residential systems, have sections with high DC voltages, which are a particular hazard for arc flashes. This is why disconnects will not let you open the door unless the switch handle is in the off position. Also, when turning off the switch of a disconnect, you should not stand in front of the disconnect. Instead, stand to the side where you turn off the switch. Good equipment labeling is also crucial to safety. This warning sign is an example of a good warning label in a PV system. With this label, a service person can quickly understand the hazard level and how to protect himself and others. Among the key requirements for a safe PV installation are a safe work area, safe and knowledgeable use of tools and equipment, safe practices for personnel protection including fall protection and electric shock protection, and awareness by all personnel of safety hazards and how to avoid them. A safe PV installation also requires safety planning. Safety plans should include personal safety plans in which an on-site individual has training on safe practices, access to proper equipment, and is accountable for safe construction. Second, safety planning also requires site safety plans which include how projects will be staffed, knowledge of nearby medical facilities, identification of site-specific hazards, and accountability for on-site safety leadership. Third, part of the site safety plan includes having the appropriate resources on hand including a well-communicated safety plan, first aid equipment, fire extinguishers, proper ladders and lifting equipment, and proper labeling of components and equipment. Overall, it is very good for the PV industry to maintain a good reputation for safety. This requires good design, good equipment, good training, and good implementation of safety procedures.